Civic Center of Illinois Sports Desk. It's quarterfinal week in high school football as a few local teams still march on in postseason play, including both Moreau Forsyth and Mount Zion, two sides that impressed in home week two victories. And we start with the Trojans who are coming off a 28-7 win over Chester. And this season, the Trojans have been an offensive powerhouse, but they had to turn to their defense a bit more against Chester as they delivered in a variety of ways, putting together one of, if not their best, defensive performance of the season. It was our best defensive game of the year. I thought we were really physical. We set the tone. They went for it on fourth and one on the on the 30 yard line on the first drive and we got that stop and immediately went in and scored and I thought that kind of set the tone for our defense. I thought we got 11 hats to the ball. Obviously turned them over. I uh, got three interceptions. Uh, we had nine sacks or, or tackles for a loss and you know put them behind the eight ball. We thought we'd get pressure on their quarterback and we were able to. Now over to the Braves. They played on Friday night against Peoria Notre Dame. And the Irish, they were a tough physical opponent who challenged Mount Zion in ways that few other teams have or will. But the challenge was one they met head on, having now to prepare for a completely different kind of opponent in Bree Central. Yeah, I mean, it's stuff you don't see. So, I mean, it's great to see our kids adjust. I mean, they onside kick all the time. And, you know, and then offensively, you don't ever see that. So, um, you know, it prepares you because it's it's a short week. you got to get ready for it. And then our kids went out to execute the game plan. They did a great job. And, you know, and then once we get done, it's like, all right, hey, forget all that stuff. Now we're moving on to, you know, Bree Central, who's spread and is going to throw it around and, and run the ball. But, uh, you know, it was a good challenge, and I'm glad our kids rose to it. Now later on tonight, we'll hear more from both of the team's head coaches and some players as the Trojans and Braves gear up for their quarterfinal matchups. But for now, that does it for sports. I'm Sammy St. Jean. Now, the Orthopedic Center of Illinois Sports Desk. This coming Saturday is quarterfinals day for high school football. Many local teams like Glenwood, Monticello, Tolona Unity, and more advancing into the third playoff weekend. But tonight, we're locked in on the Braves and the Trojans as both sides prepare for very different third round obstacles. Now, Mount Zion has a tough task with undefeated Breeze Central coming up, but this offense alone is plenty of reason to believe the upset is possible. With Trimble, Anderson, Harvey, Becker, Stocks and company, this offense can put up points in a hurry as a group that's playing its best football down the stretch. We have a great quarterback at Keller Stocks. He could just, he rolls out and he keeps his eyes up the field. And in a, in a scramble drill, there's no one that's guarding our four or five wide receivers in the state, I promise you. It feels like a chess game at, at some points, but it's like there's times when you can almost make a checkmate at any point. The Trojans themselves have a similarly talented offensive core, one that gives their quarterback Ryan Shepard plenty of options, including Zach Smith, a talented wide receiver who may go a bit underappreciated at times in a talented offense, but his impact is undeniable as he approaches another impressive season milestone. Hopefully he goes over 1,000 yards receiving uh, th this week, and uh, he's going to need to if we're going to have any success th uh, this week. Uh, and we've only had three of those kids, uh, so, I mean, that's a big deal. Uh, because we do have so many weapons, there's only one football, and uh, Zach does a good job of when he touches it, he expects to score. Mount Zion and Moreau will differ in one area this coming weekend. After hosting Peoria and Notre Dame, the Braves, they have to get back on the road to take on Bree Central. This team loves the energy when they do get the opportunity to play at home in front of their home crowd, but Mount Zion is battle-tested on the road as well after playing just three home games during the regular season. I just feel like we're always hungry and no matter where we play, but in a home playoff game, it's like we definitely want to show out for our fans and our people and we just like have this little piece in our heart that like doesn't want us to let us lose. We only had three home games this year. We were on the road. It was like an hour and a half drive, two hour drive, two and a half hour drive earlier this year. Um, I think we're we're prepared for traveling. We travel pretty well. Merle Forsyth doesn't have the same travel ahead of them home for their third straight playoff game at Walter Boyd Field. And the fans have shown out and coach expects the same primetime atmosphere. While Zach Smith added that the key for this coming Saturday is limiting their opponent's weapons and what they hope will be another excellent defensive game. Well, Quincy's a pretty good haul, so uh, we are, are glad to not be making that trip. Uh, our fans come out and, and support at Walter Boyd Field, and we try and make it a, a big game environment. And uh, obviously in an Elite Eight game, uh, we, we expect nothing less than that. Well, we're going to try and shut down their key players and just try and play our best game and keep defense rolling, get, get the offense going again. We should be good. And Marola Forsyth will host the Raiders on Saturday at 2 p.m. While the Braves, they hit the road for a 5 p.m. kickoff against Breeze Central. So more football and volleyball coming up this week as the week continues. But for now, that does it for sports. I'm Sammy St. Jean.
Thanks for watching. Stick around by subscribing today and don't miss a single video.